Welcome back to Rednecks Dirty Hands. I'm Pete, and today in the shop we've got no joke, two stroke. That right there is a 2000 Yamaha SRX 700. That's the triple threat. Triple, triple, triple. That's got three cylinders, three pipes, three carburetors, but she don't run. Let's uh, check her out. All right, look at this sexy beast right here. Yes, sir. The SRX 700 triple. This thing here is a uh, sweetie. Now, I'm sure those of you that know snowmobiles know that the Yamaha SRX 700s were very quick snowmobiles. This one right now is not. It does not run. I bought it at uh, the local uh, Articat dealer, actually, down the highway there, the Cat Shack. They had this up for sale. Uh, you know, it was a... Uh, Pushed out there as a uh, you fix, you save kind of deal. Needs a stator, so I went up there, saw them, and uh, picked it up. They threw a new stator in for it, so we'll get into that. We'll put the stator in it and see if we can get it running, but uh, we're also going to be cleaning this bad boy up and uh, got a few ideas might be doing to this one, but uh, yeah, overall, it's not in that bad of shape. I mean, it's got some scratches and scrapes and scuffs and whatnot, but... Uh, We'll check her all out. We'll get her going. The uh, There's the business end of her. Nice. Three cylinders, three carburetors, three pipes. Kind of a little bit of an octopus set up there with the way that they all go into that muffler. But, uh, well, who knows? Once we got to tear all this crap out of there and uh, access the motor, we got to get in there and... Uh, Throw the stator on there, see if we can get some spark happening. Obviously, we'll have to pull the carbs out, give them a good cleaning and whatnot. But uh, hopefully, we can get her up and going. This thing should be pretty sweet. And we're going to touch up on a few things, too. The plastics are all faded and whatnot. I did a little, not sure if you guys ever seen it before, but when the plastics get all old and faded like that, that side there, that half, I just used my little butane torch heated it up brings the plastic up like new the snow flap there i just did that with the uh, heat gun i'll uh, give you a little demonstration all right so you just take the uh, power probe just hold her on there doesn't take much at all you hold her in one spot too long uh, you get that lovely smell of burnt plastic and then you need a new snow flap but uh, if you move her quick brings it up like brand new it's kind of sad. It's like watching pressure washer or something like that. It'd be like one of those satisfying videos. So grab yourself a cold one, sit back, and relax. If you don't want to use the torch or you don't have one, if you got a blow dryer or a heat gun, crank that sucker on double power. So, as you can see, I mean, it changes the uh, faded plastics, brings the color back out, darkens it back up, and uh, does a pretty good job, you know. Like, that was all right faded, and now it's kind of matching the seat and all that again. So, the torch, I find, works 
you know, it's instant, you know, instant gratification. The heat gun takes a little bit longer to uh, do it, but I mean, I think the heat gun, if you got the patience, does a better job, you know, overall than the uh, butane one. And obviously the butane one, open flame, probably not a wise idea to do it on the plastics around the gas tank or any of that, but I mean, hey, I'm not the boss here. You do whatever you want. Just a suggestion. I would use the heat gun around those plastics, but that's just me. So that's a little trick of the trade. Seems to work pretty good. Saw a fella do that online a while ago and figured I'd give it a go and hey, it works. Nice one. All right, so as I was saying, this is gonna be like the next little project kind of deal. I don't know how involved we're gonna get on this, but I mean, we already have my uh, T-Cat with the uh, three cylinder four stroke and that with the turbo on it and it was running hard and strong and I got the Sidewinder with turbo obviously you know they're both pushing you know over 300 horsepower and we were had them out on the lake and it wasn't even flat proper surfaces and we were running like 134 132 with those these things here stock on a good prep surface should be like 115 mile an hour and I think guys were saying you know do a little bit of tweaking magic on these things you can get them around 120 125 so why not see how far we can go with one of these and uh, add it to the fleet you know we got the four strokes but uh, i'm not gonna lie they're not the cheapest to uh, soup up and not the cheapest to run the fuel for those is uh, pretty dear so you know still gonna have to run the race fuel in this one we're all said and done but we might be able to build this cheaper than those two or the the four stroke turbos there i don't know not sure how involved we're going to get on the motor. First of all, we got to get this thing running. So that stator that I got with it, we'll have to uh, strip this down, check it. Hopefully they gave me the right one for it. And we'll uh, see if we can get this sparkling. apologize i meant to set up the time lapse of me taking this apart but uh like an idiot i just hit regular record instead of uh, time lapse record and i had the music going on in the background which is a no-no for youtube copyright stuff and all that plus i was singing like an idiot too so i'm sure you guys don't want to hear that so anyway it's pretty straightforward i just took all the free pipes off and then took this cross brace off of there and took the recoil off. Then there was the main, uh, the hub, the mag or whatever. I uh, unbolted the uh, dog on it for the recoil, pulled that off, put my bolt puller on there, pulled that sucker off and uh, not too bad. The or original stator that was on here, I think was in good shape. I think what happened is this aftermarket one here, they give you a, a little baggy. It's got uh, new plug ends for the snowmobile side of it. And I wasn't sure why they would do that and, eh, until I tried to unplug the original one and it's like melted together. So I'm pretty sure that's where the issue is. So I'm going to uh, cut the wires on that, wire this sucker on, and then I'll put it all back together. And then uh, I'm just gonna do, put the rear back on. We'll give her a couple of tugs and see if we got spark happening on there, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we do. It's all back together. I got all the plugs out so she's easy to pull over and we're gonna see if some sparkage happens there. Please, please give us some ignition. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, baby. Come on, one more. Yes. Lord, thunder, and Jesus, that's be sparking right there, boys. So it looks like after putting that uh, stator in there, we're just like Charlie Sheen. We're winning. So, yeah, next logical step is to put those plugs back in the cylinder and give this thing a tug and see if we can make it sing. Yeah, baby! 
All right, and just for instant gratification, we're gonna put the old most art in there. Just a couple of squirts, that's all you need. Little goes a long way, but we want to hear this sucker. Brat to life. So hopefully, a little bit of brake clean in there. Should get the job done. Just gonna go finger tight on these bogeys. Oh yeah. She gonna be loud too, but we won't run it very long. Just enough to hear the sound of the triple. Okay, let's uh, key on. Come on, Betsy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Come on. She's a runner runner, so it sounds pretty good. So now that we know that it runs, I can go through, I'll put fresh fuel in it, clean the carburetors, go through the rest of the chassis, bearings and fuel lines, all that jazz. But now we know there's potential. So the Yeser X is uh, ready to go. I think we'll uh, do those things. Maybe set it up on the dyno and uh, see what kind of power she makes and then maybe we'll do some tweaking to it and see if we can get more power but uh, for now we know she's a runner which is a bonus well the connector from that stator i just cut it off both ends and i still cannot get it apart so i'm pretty sure that was the original issue if this stupid camera would focus you'd see that the ends of the wires on the sled side are all burnt in the plug here and they're looking pretty tired but you know hey yeah let's sell people phones with all these awesome cameras on it that don't freaking focus anyway it's junk pipes are back on so we don't have any flames shooting out and setting this thing on fire i got the muffler back on i took the uh, carburetors out gave them a quick uh, nice clean and then uh, they were actually pretty good inside they weren't that bad uh, I put brand new spark plugs in it, so now we'll drop the hood and uh, see if we get this running. Okay, fire in the hole, hopefully. smell what the srx is cooking <laughs> she's up and running at least we know the oil injection works because it's nice and smoky in here so uh yeah that's a bonus we are like charlie sheen we're winning you know bought that pretty cheap just needed the stator turned out it did just need the stator she's up and running sparking pretty good so we got some high hopes for this sucker maybe we'll uh put her on the dyno next see what uh, kind of horsepower she's making and then we'll see if we want to play with it before we get some snow and take her down the strip but uh, i think i'm going to end this video here you know uh, if you like the channel and like what we're doing please subscribe it helps us out you know hit the like button and uh, turn your notification bell on 
and leave a comment. Let me know what do you think this uh, horsepower is going to be on this one and how fast do you think we can get her? Take her easy.